When I was doing uh, the, the home security sales, the company I, I worked for was a really good company, really good company. Like the, the place that the Utah Jazz play for, it's called the Vivint Arena. It's got the name rights. It's a really good company. And I, we got paid well, all that stuff. But guess what? Whenever you have a door-to-door -door company, you got a bunch of knuckleheads going out and knocking doors, you're going to have some bad reviews. You're going to have the guy or the girl that was a dick or that did the hard clothes or that was shady. And so as a result, that company has a lot of shitty reviews online. Okay. So one of the biggest things that would happen when we would lose the deal, when we're talking about trust and legitimacy is people would be down. They would love the equipment. They loved the price. They loved all this stuff, the technology, everything made sense. And then they went and they did their homework on the reviews. Okay. And guess what guys, we lost so many deals over the reviews. So as I started to lose these deals, I was like, fuck this dude. If, if they're going to go and do the research anyway, I'm just going to tell them what they're going to find. Okay. And so what I started doing is if I would talk to a husband on the door or a wife on the door and they were like, yeah, this is super interesting. Can you come back when my husband's here? Um, or I would get in the house and do the pitch and I would have to come back, whatever. Right. And they're like, Hey, I have to do some research. And they kept saying research or they kept saying whatever I would tell them, I'd say, Hey, go ahead and do your research until you're blue in the face. It doesn't matter. Okay. However, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You're going to type in Vivint Reviews, which is the company I work for, and you're going to see a bunch of shitty reviews. But I want you to notice something, okay? When you look at those reviews, I don't want you looking at the, the shit reviews that it's a one star or two star. I want you to read the comments. I want you to actually read the review. Why is it a shitty review? Well, it, and, I, and I would say to them, I'd say, hey, 99% of those don't have anything to do with the equipment. They don't have anything to do with the service. They don't have anything to do with the call center. They don't have anything to do with anything other than the sales rep, okay? And read them. Sales rep was, was hard closing me. Sales rep this. It's all the sales rep shit. Go read it. And I said, I'm your sales rep, okay? So if that's the only, if that's the only bad reviews, then, then we're good. So go read them. Do all the shit you want. But I want you to notice they're all about sales reps. And I would bring it up and I would frame it. And sure enough, they'd go look at the reviews and it was a shitload of bad reviews. And all of them, oh, so-and-so came to my door and he used, he told me there was a break-in down the street and he used a scare tactic. So-and-so tried to hard close me. So-and-so sold my grandma uh, an alarm and she doesn't, she has dementia. All of it had to do with the sales company, uh, the salesperson, nothing with the company, but we knew the objection was coming. So we fucking brought it up first. Linda Green, shout out to Linda Green. She realized when she went through the setup the first time, by the way, shout out to Linda. She joined the program within 25 days, did eight deals. Fucking savage. She's going to be a millionaire in the next 12 months. You heard it here first, folks. Linda Green, she watched uh, the setup and she said, she's like, oh, this will work for any objection. And she noticed as she started getting on the closes, she noticed that like if people had gotten leads, but they hadn't closed deals, Something she was saying in the beginning was like making them think they needed to close a deal. So she started using the setup, the, the framework around the setup and she started bringing it up. So she started getting on the call and going, hey, look, I know you haven't closed any deals, but that's totally normal. I've only sent you three leads, right? Once I send you 10 leads or 20 or 30, we can make a judgment on how good these leads are. But I just want you to see like how these work. I'm not trying to wait till you close a deal. That ain't the deal here, okay? And she started just saying something simple like that in her own way. And all of a sudden, that objection of, she was, she was getting this objection of like, hey, um, I'll let you know, as soon as I close a deal from one of these leads, then uh, you know uh, we'll do business. It's like, no, motherfucker. Did HomeAdvisor do that? Did Google do that? Did Angie's List? Does anyone even give you free leads, much less let you close a deal before? No. So she started using the framework, which is bring it up first. And it's not an issue. Okay, so in the training 2.0, I'm going to list out all the main objections and how I overcome them. Okay, but I want you guys to realize all if you're getting the same thing over and over, it doesn't matter what it is, just use the same framework and bring it up first and eliminate the objection. Okay, just eliminate it, period. Right. If I started getting a whole bunch of people saying, Well, you don't have a website, you don't have a website, I don't want to do like all that shit, you know what I'd say? Hey, just so you know, uh, I don't have a fucking website because I don't need one. Like I would just bring it up first, but we don't get that in this business because guess what? We send the leads up front. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So I want you to expand your brains here. And I want you to realize this, this works across the board. Okay. Bring it up first, control the way that it's delivered. And it's not an objection any longer. It's not a deal breaker. 
But if you let it come and you sit back, you know, defensively and passively, and you're waiting to just hope to not get bumps and bruises and, and, and people aren't going to bring shit up, they're going to bring it up. And if they don't bring it up, they're thinking it and they're going to cancel. So if you know it's coming, just bring it up. 